In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Zoom breakout rooms to split your meeting into smaller groups, or even allow participants to self-select which room they'd like to join. This beginner-friendly guide will walk you through every step of the process, ensuring that you can utilize this feature effectively, both on a desktop and web-based environment. Let's get started. First things first, you need to make sure that the breakout room feature is enabled. If you're an admin or the host of the meeting, you'll need to sign in to your account at zoom.us. Once logged in, navigate over to the settings section. Here, you should look under the meeting tab, specifically into the in meeting advanced category. Spot the breakout room toggle and switch it on. This enables the breakout room feature for your meetings. There are a few optional settings you might want to consider enabling, such as pre-assigning participants when scheduling, allowing the broadcast of messages or voice announcements to all rooms, and permitting the host to manage rooms while they're open. These options give you greater flexibility and control over your meeting. Once you have breakout rooms enabled, you might want to pre-assign rooms before your meeting begins. To do this, head over to the Zoom web portal, going specifically to your meetings page. Find the meeting you've got scheduled and click Edit. Here, you'll need to check the option for Breakout Room Pre-Assign and then click the Create Rooms button. The interface will allow you to name each room and add participants by their Zoom account emails. If you have a larger group to manage, you can conveniently import participants from a CSV file. Zoom provides a handy template that includes columns for room name and email address. Once you have everything set up, make sure to save your settings. These assignments will automatically pop up when your meeting begins, making everything seamless. Now, during the meeting, as the host or co-host, click on the breakout rooms icon. You can decide how to assign participants automatically, which evenly distributes them across rooms, manually, where you have more control, or allowing participants to choose which room they'd like to join. If you've done pre-assignments, you can load those too. After selecting Create, click Options to tailor the settings to your liking. This could include auto-moving participants into rooms, allowing them to return to the main room anytime, setting auto-close after a certain number of minutes, and utilizing countdown timers to keep everyone on track. Once you're satisfied with the setup, select Open All Rooms to initiate the session. During the breakout session, as the host, You'll remain in the main room, unless you decide to join a breakout manually. You can enter any room of your choice, move or exchange participants between rooms, add or delete rooms, rename them, or even send broadcast messages. If participants need assistance, they can click Ask for Help, which signals you to join their room if needed. Finally, when it's time to bring everyone back together, simply click Close All Rooms, prompting all participants to return to the main session. If you've enabled the countdown feature, there will be a quick 60-second timer letting participants wrap up their discussions. Should you need to quickly re-establish breakout groups, you can easily recreate and recover any pre-assignments. And that's it. You're now ready to manage your meetings effectively using Zoom breakout rooms. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your next Zoom session.